Hello and welcome to Issing Clay. This video is on Kamehameha I, a Hawaiian king who through a mixture of conquest and diplomacy succeeded in unifying the Hawaiian Islands. The dynasty he forged successfully managed to maintain the kingdom's independence for almost a century before its annexation by the United States in the 1890s. While most accounts agree that Kamehameha was born in the Kohala district of the island of Hawaii, opinions as to when he was born vary. An old Hawaiian prophecy states that the leader that unites the islands would be born while a great light with bird-like feathers shone in the night sky. Given that Kamehameha fulfilled the unification part of this prophecy, some historians of a more mythological persuasion have assumed that the light in the sky part of a prophecy refers to the appearance of a comet. For this reason, many believe that Kamehameha was born in 1758, when Halley's Comet appeared over Hawaii. Historians of this persuasion also hold that after hearing of this prophecy, the ruling Hawaiian king, fearful of a challenge to his reign, had the infant put to death. But before the sentence could be carried out, the infant was whisked away and brought to the court of a Hawaiian chief called Kioa, where he was raised in secret. Apart from its mythological dependency, this theory of his birth date fails to line up with historical events he is meant to have partaken in, and how old he is perceived to have been towards the end of his life. The Hawaiian king that ordered his execution in the story was named Alapa'i, However, this king is reckoned to have died in 1754, four years prior to the comet passing. While people who met Kamehameha towards the end of his life in 1819 reckon he was in his 80s at the time, and not in his early 60s as the mythological theory would have it. Other historians have suggested that Kamehameha was born in 1736, during a civil war that followed the death of the King Kiawe, a date which also supports his apparent age at the time of his death. Whatever the truth, historians agree that he was initially raised by the Hawaiian chief Kioa. However, Kioa died when Kamehameha was young, and so he was then adopted by his uncle Kalanai Opu'u and raised in his court instead. Assuming Kamehameha was born in 1736, he spent most of his teenage years under the rule of King Alapa'i, and was about 18 when the king died in 1754. While Alapa'i is generally considered to have been a fair ruler, his reign was marked with conflict with the neighbouring islands of Maui and Oahu, and following his death, the throne was claimed by both his heir and Kalanai Opu'u, leading to another civil war. Given Kamehameha's age at the time, it is quite likely that he fought on the side of Kalanai Opu'u and helped him become king. The first 20 years under King Kalanai Opu'u were uneventful. This changed in 1775 when he led an unsuccessful invasion of the neighbouring island of Maui. Despite the setback, he mounted another assault the following year. But unbeknown to him, the islands of Maui and Oahu had formed an alliance in the interlude. As he led his soldiers into the sand hills of Weluku, a trap was sprung and his forces were all but annihilated. Given that Kalanai Upu'u's own son was present at the event, it is likely that Kamehameha was as well, as he would have been about 40 at the time and his military skills were highly regarded. In 1778, Captain Cook and the Royal Navy ships HMS Resolution and the HMS Discovery arrived at the island of Hawaii. During their stay, James King, one of Cook's lieutenants, estimated that the island's population to be around 400,000, while modern estimates put it between 300,000 to 1 million at the time. Their month-long stay was peaceful, with gifts even being exchanged between Cook and Kalanai Opu. 
At this time, King met Kamehameha and commented that he had a good nature and humorous disposition. But relations eventually broke down between the British and the Hawaiians, when Cook and several of his crew were killed while attempting to abduct Kalanai'opu. Things went downhill for Kalanai'opu after that, as in 1781 Maui drove the Hawaiians off of its soil, and the year after that he died. Before passing, he named his son Kiwala'o as heir to the throne, and to his adoptive son Kamehameha, he left custody of the war god Ku. Anyway, that's all for this video. As always, sources and citations can be found in both the credits and in the description. If you would like to learn more about the subjects covered here, they are a good place to start. As with all YouTube channels, please feel free to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.